Let's bring out our first guest, a lovely woman, fine actress on, on the big hit show of the decade, Cheers, and they're, they're going off the air in, in May, I guess. Our first guest is a, a lovely woman. She will be ending a six-year relationship with this network right here, NBC, uh, when Cheers uh, appears for the final time on May 20th. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Kirstie Alley. Okay. <laughs> What a smart couple we make here in our sort of navy blue dark uh, suit jackets. Like That's very great. Tasteful. Looks like we're going to go out and cause trouble, doesn't it? It could. I'll, I'll join you in a second. I have to run somebody home first. <laughs> How are you? Good. Welcome to the show. Welcome to New York City. Thank you. This is, uh, are you a little uh, raspy, a little losing yeah, your voice? Yeah, I'm doing a Saturday Night Live this week and they've written me these skits where I'm screaming through the whole thing. So really? I blew my voice out. Well, so now that's bad because it may not come back. What will happen then if you have no voice? Then I'll have to change the skits. Somewhat. <laughs> I was somewhat, I would say completely. The loud family will be the quiet family. It's scary. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Cheers. What do you think about this? How did you feel about it when you heard it? Why is, why is it ending? Because it's still in the top ten every week. It's ending because Ted is old. <laughs> Ted dancing is too His old. His hands aren't steady anymore. He can't pour those drinks. <laughs> That's a shame. I didn't realize sad. that. Yeah, it is, it is very, very sad. How did you feel about it when you first realized things uh, were going to go away? I felt very sad. Yeah? And I spent Christmas crying, and so I, um, I came up with this plan, though. I thought, you know, why, why do I have to be the effect of this? I'll rally. I'll, I'll go back and I'll pitch the idea that we come back next season, we do six shows, we go out with style and uh -huh. class, and, right. and we don't let the fans down, we, don't, we sort of wean ourselves. So I called a meeting, first time I'd done this in six years, of all the actors and the director, and they were sitting there. I had my speech down, and I said, um, now look, I think we should do six more shows. I think that it's really important that we, <laughs> <laughs> that we wean ourselves. <laughs> because I, it was so degrading. <laughs> and they looked at me, it was like some really it was like a group therapy session where people were saying this, literally, go with it. <laughs> they just thought you were nuts. Is that Let what it was? out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and they said, no. And <laughs> it was really degrading. And then yeah, I thought, I'm screw sorry. you people are old. <laughs> <laughs> I am young. I still have a career. <laughs> kind of interested in that self-weaning process, though, you described a few times I there. Was. Yeah. Uh, away. So uh, what will you do now? Then the show has been filmed. It's over, right? It's pretty much it. But now, did, now we kept hearing here in New York City that uh, uh, Bill Clinton, pre President Bill Clinton, yeah. was going to be on the show. Was that ever true? Did well, it wasn't you know, on the show? I think he, I, he still maybe he was going to be. Why? Well, he's got be he's got to have better things to do. I know he's old. No, no, you, <laughs> you can't say that about everything. I, I can. No. <laughs> He, he was going to, and then Hillary's father passed away. Right. And um, that wouldn't look very good. That no. He shows up on Cheers. Yeah. So um, they thought they would possibly reschedule. And I haven't heard since. I don't Well, how with those do you work this anymore. into the plot that, oh my God, look, ladies and gentlemen, it's, his limo you breaks don't. down out front or what? No, you just go. It's just Bill walks in. It just. The president of the United States comes in for a beer and a shot. It's a work gag. That, <laughs> work that into the script. He's the just, president can only come on your show if everything else is okay in this world. Then he can come on. I know, I know, and everything wasn't, so we couldn't. Yeah. So, but you know, it's just a gag, just a, obviously a. So you're saying big I'm... old bit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to get snippy with me. Uh, and what will you do now? You're I doing don't. Saturday you know Night Live this weekend, to. so that's a lot of fun. You do SNL, and then what are you going to do for your? You going into Career. films? Back into films? What are you going to do? I'll tell you what I would like to do. I'd like to become sort of a cross between an interior designer and a spiritual advisor for wayward actresses who just don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the, the your specific, phone will be ringing off the hook. The specific actress that I'd like to help, and I think this woman is beautiful and talented and everything, but God help her, Sharon Stone does not know what people are doing to her. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's she's in a movie advice? with her legs like this. And she's saying, Paul, Paul, the camera isn't, you're not showing anything here, are you? And Paul is saying, no, I just have a little glare. And then the, you know, the guy with the, the marker, the measuring tape, comes like measuring in here. <laughs> but Paul, and then she does all this, you know, and then totally, I mean, like, you know, an 80 foot V. I, <laughs> It's not that that's bad or anything that she did that, but she just didn't know she was doing it. And then on the cover of Vanity Fair, she looked like this. <laughs> and it isn't that... They... <laughs> and it wasn't that that was bad, because I thought that's very artistic, it's very stylish. But in the next interview, she said, I didn't know Annie Leibovitz was shooting me from the front. <laughs> She may not really have in her mind a definite idea of what a camera looks like. You know, maybe it's just as simple but as... But she a... was in the movie Total Recall. She has no recall. Mm -hmm. I, th I, th I think it's possible that, you know, and I think maybe, like, her new boyfriend is her fiancé. Maybe she didn't know he was married. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't mix up. But I think that I have a value. She needs some help. You would be as, uh, like, a Mother Teresa I say, for okay, this okay, when that camera is in there, beelining in on your V, you're going to get a picture of that. <laughs> I'm not saying any words. There's no yeah. words. Makes you, makes you want to kick a field goal. And I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what that means, by the way. I'm just your TV friend. All right, Kirsty, listen. Oh, no, you're not leaving. Oh, you get me a little upset here with all this discussion. No, no, she's not leaving. Uh, I think it took a great deal of courage, and I applaud you for having said that, what you did. And I, yeah, I appreciate it. I think people appreciate it. Tell, tell me about your, uh, you have a baby. Yeah. You know, Paul's got a brand new baby as well. I know. Isn't it fun? Nice to see you, Kirsty. That can mean peace. Uh, that can mean peace, too. <laughs> Isn't it the best? It's, it's wonderful. The best. Paul had the late night baby. <laughs> it, it feels like it's the, the, the show baby, like it's all of ours. Yeah, doesn't it? It's great. It's, it's That's very exciting. That's how it was on Cheers. I took my baby to work with me every day, and um, he was sort of adopted by everybody. It was wonderful. How, how old is the baby now? Six months. Six months. That's a great age, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And so what, what, can you tell us his name? William True. William Tr William True. True, Puritan True. name. True is the is the middle name or the last name? Is the middle name, but I call him True uh -huh. as his first name. Yeah. You know? It's a Puritan name. It's a park. My husband's family had a whole line of. Um, we got out the um, the uh, family tree, and there were all these Puritan names. You know, there was actually one called Free Love. No, really? Free Love. From what year? What, this is like in this century, uh, earlier. This was before they came over on the old Mayflower. Right after the Mayflower. Where they come from? I don't know. Well, England. Well, well, yeah, where, let's forget, where did the Mayflower sail from? I That's, think it was England. Yeah, all right, somewhere in England they live. They were pilgrims. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, we have this fight all the time because you know, my husband's sort of this blue blood guy, and this is very funny because... Who's your husband? Let's just establish Parker this. Stevenson. Parker Stevenson. Yeah. <laughs> what, he's, he's on a rowing team? What is that? That's not what she meant. An Olympic oarsman, apparently. Yeah, no, that's not, no. Oh, that's okay. not what she no, meant. No, Parker, and Parker's family, um, what are they called? They're in the social register. Social register. And okay. I think that means if you came across with the original pilgrims, your descendants get to be in this book. Mm -hmm. So this is really funny because my descendants on my mother's side were carnies. And I'm from Kansas. <laughs> from an actual carnival? Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah, and my grandmother had this cigarette. Uh, stand, and my grandfather had the snake pit, <laughs> and Roy had the snake pit, and my mother, when we, they had all these boa constrictors in there, and they would throw my mother in there. <laughs> this is part of the act, right? Yes, they yeah. throw my mother in there, and she'd go, oh, 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 and then all the audience would go, oh, oh, and that's what they would get for their money. <laughs> so, <laughs> by me marrying Parker, my name is now in the social register. Cool. But I don't think the people that accepted us knew that my mother was in a snake pit. 
But let me tell you something. When the pilgrims left England, that was the kind of action they were looking for. <laughs> that's, that's what it was all about. <laughs> That was the whole point of the trip. Yes, sir. Oh, man, I'm worried about your voice. It's, it's sort of one of those situations where it's difficult to listen to you because it sounds like you're in pain. Do you want me to shut up? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have only your best interest at heart. Are you going to be okay, all right? Okay. for? I, I'm fine, yeah? really. Who else is on the show Saturday night? Who is the music? Uh, Lenny Kravitz. Mm -hmm. He's really yeah. cute. <laughs> He's totally cute. You know, I've only totally seen him with... cute. You sound like you're 11. Now, come on. He is. I had never met him, and I just did this promo with him, and he had these sunglasses on. And why are these guys always weigh four pounds? He, they have legs that are like 12 feet tall, and they're really, they have no meat, and they're no fat or anything. And he was standing beside me, and he has these long, long dreadlocks, and we started to roll, and he took off his glasses, and I, I wasn't looking at him, I was looking at the monitor, and I went, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my, and I looked around, and I was like, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. I am a May sucker maybe for like, these Maybe guys. like to get him in the boat, huh? <laughs> you bet. Nasty. You, you are nothing but trouble. You are eight days of trouble. Uh, let's see. Cheers. We'll all be looking for this. It'll be a sad night in America. It is. May 20th, the final episode of Cheers. And... Saturday night, the woman will be hosting Saturday Night Live. Good to see you again, Kirsty. Thank you very much. Kirsty Alley. Good job. We'll be right back.